10 People You Won't Believe Actually Exist The world is not free of wonders. That goes the same to human beings living around us. Everything in our world is special and unique. Diversity is everywhere. But there are people who stand out more than other people. Today, we will talk about 10 people you won't believe actually exist. Yu Zhen Huan This man comes from the northern Chinese province of Liaoning. He has hair that covers 96% of his body because of a rare hormone imbalance. This makes Yu the hairiest man on the earth. Yu's excess body hair is all over his body except for two places, his palms and soles of his feet. He has difficulty seeing because of his awfully long eyelashes, and he also has hearing and breathing problems due to the hair growing out of his nose and ears. He has had to go through laser hair removal surgery to remove all the hair that causes him problems. He once talked about getting all his hair removed after having plastic surgery. But that was many years ago, and nothing has been heard of him since. Helmut Strebel This 49-year-old Austrian bodybuilder is so ripped, he regularly goes viral across social media and is regarded by many as the most shredded guy alive. Helmut is quite literally ripped to the bone. His low body fat percentage, which is only 3%, is a true testament to what can be achieved with years of hard work and dedication. You can literally see every fiber of muscle in his body. He is extremely vascular, resembling a human roadmap. Helmut Strebel simply has awesome genetics, not just in the sense of building muscle, but also in regards to the thickness of his skin. He has paper-thin skin, helping his muscles appear even more ripped whilst displaying crazy vascularity. Helmut is a perfect example of how you can get shredded at any age if you're willing to diet harder than any other man alive and train like a real-life cyan. Tran Van Hay Although he never got his hair officially measured and acknowledged by the Guinness Book of Records, Vietnamese herbalist Tran Van He was known as the man with the longest hair in the world. For nearly 50 years, he kept his head hidden from view. While it was obvious to anyone who saw him that there was something under his scarf, they still had no idea what it was or why he wouldn't show it to them. Then, after five decades with his head covered, Tran decided it was time to let his family and friends see what was underneath his scarf. When he finally removed it to reveal what he'd been hiding all those years, people were in utter disbelief. It was a 22-foot-long dreadlock that weighed 23 pounds. The reason why he never cut his hair is an interesting story. When he was just 25 years old, Tran had a traumatic experience where he got extremely sick after visiting a barber shop. It had such an impact on his life that he decided to stop getting his hair cut once and for all. Ekaterina Lysina The Russian model, who is 6 feet 9 inches tall, is already known in her hometown of Penza, Russia, for having the biggest feet for a woman. Ekaterina also has two Guinness records to her name, having also been crowned the world's tallest model, whose legs measure 132 centimeters or 52 inches. She is set to break into Hollywood after she appeared on the television show This Morning, where presenters Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield had to use ladders to interview her. A former professional basketball player with an Olympic bronze, she has an offer to play a role in an upcoming movie which will be about a women's rugby championship. The model says it's hard to find jeans in her size, and she has to have them specially tailored. Nikita Kachuk This Russian bodybuilder is fairly new on the scene. His massive size has everyone saying that his muscles are nothing but synthol, which is an alcohol-oil combination that artificially inflates your muscles. It mimics the appearance of developed muscles. However, there isn't proof online that he's using it, and in most of his videos, he seems as strong as a bear. Nikita has been called the Russian Arnold Schwarzenegger, weighing a monster mass of 140 kilograms and continues to work out. Maybe time will tell if he is natural or he really is using synthol. Let us know what you think in the comments. Sky Broberg Also known as Sky Circus is a five-time Guinness World Record holder in contortion and has traveled around the world performing on television, street, and stage. 
Her act includes squeezing herself through rings and performing bone and ligament defying stunts in her tiny glass prison. She even does a costume change inside this tiny box. Sky holds three Guinness World Records for her efforts. One is for the fastest time getting into a contortion box, cramming her 1.7 meter tall body into a 52 by 45 by 45 centimeter box in just 4.78 seconds. She also holds the record for the longest time spent in a contortion box, which is 6 minutes and 13 seconds, pressed in with her friends, acrobat twin sisters Nele and Jola Season, and for squeezing through a tennis racket in a variety of ways over 3 minutes. Michelle Kopke 24-year-old Michelle Kopke made headlines in 2013 due to her tiny 16-inch waist. However, she wasn't born this way but instead chose to modify her body. By sleeping in a corset every night for three years, she reduced her waist by 9 inches. Now her waist is actually smaller than most two-year-olds. She still wears tight corsets with the hope goal of slimming down by another 2 inches, a goal that doctors have warned against. They warned her that if she continues to do this, the damage to her spine may prevent her from being able to stand up. She already suffers from the blatant health problems that come with having a stomach that small, which sounds quite bad to us modern humans, but back in the Victorian era, she would have been the talk of the town. Nick Stoborough there is one guy in Santa Cruz who Miley Cyrus would probably like to snap a selfie with for her signature face pose, and that would be Nick Stoberl. Nick has the longest tongue in the world and was added to the Guinness World Records 2015 book and still currently holds that record. The artist and comedian's supersized lingua has been verified as measuring 10.1 centimeters or 3.97 inches long from its tip to the middle of the closed top lip. Nick's father was a huge fan of Kiss and as a child, Nick would imitate Gene Simmons' infamous tongue pose, realizing for the first time that his tongue was longer than others. Speaking of artistry, Nick has taken to using his tongue to paint with. Nick has done numerous tongue paintings including one of talk show host Steve Harvey, but is proudest of his most recent work, A Giant Beaver. Tai Naga a Vietnamese farmer born in 1942, Tai has claimed he has been awake since one day in 1973, when this lifelong farmer came down with a fever. Since then, he has been unable to sleep a wink. That would be 43 years without sleeping at all, but it's not for lack of trying. In fact, he has tried everything in order to get some shut-eye. He's tried medication, traditional folk remedies, and even liberal doses of alcohol, all without any effect on him. Ngoc Tai assures that a lack of sleep does not affect him physically, boasting that he is able to carry two 110-pound sacks of rice over two miles to his house every day. But one doctor might have an explanation in that it could simply be in his perception. For some insomniacs, the ability to clearly observe the difference between sleep and wakefulness may be lacking. The subject may feel that they are merely resting when in actuality they are sleeping. They could also be having micro-naps and not knowing. Dean Carnazes is known as the man who can run forever. In fact, he has been able to run for three days and nights without stopping. Carnazes has completed some of the toughest endurance events on the planet from a marathon to the South Pole in temperatures of minus 25 Celsius to the legendary Marathon de Sable. But in his entire life, he has never experienced any form of muscle burn or cramp, even during runs exceeding 100 miles. It means his only limits are in the mind. When running, you break down glucose for energy, producing lactate as a byproduct and an additional source of fuel that can also be converted back into energy. However, when you exceed your lactate threshold, your body is no longer able to convert the lactate as rapidly as it is being produced, leading to a buildup of acidity in the muscles. It is your body's way of telling you when to stop, but Carnes's body never receives such signals. He has actually experienced times when he has found himself sleep running where he was falling asleep while running. Hey, are you a science geek? Then you probably know what happens at the edge of universe or what could happen if our sun vanished. Is it possible that people could live on the moon? Are we really alone in the universe? 
If you're curious about the answers to these questions, we're exploring them here. <laughs>